says the caption IPOB has no business with Nigeria election and their campaign. Listen attentively, please. For those people that are asking and querying about the position of IPOB on election, listen. This is IPOB's official stance. We, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB led and commanded by Onion Duma as in Namde Kano, is very much aware that the Nigeria government is both directly and indirectly sponsoring election violence in Biafra land with the intention to blackmail the indigenous people of Biafra internationally as anti democratic. Uh, as anti -democratic or anti-democratic process. The IPOB leadership has for umpteen time stated unequivocally that part of our modus operandi in our agitation for freedom has never been and is not and will not be violent agitation. This explains our consistent demand for the United Nations to organize a referendum in the Biafra territory for the Biafran people to determine their destiny. To this effect, IPOB is neither contemplating nor will it encourage or sponsor anyone or group to disrupt the zoo Nigeria's shambolic selection process called election. IPOB has constantly made it public that we have no interest in and cannot legitimize the aberration they call election in Nigeria. We are a focused, determined, and disciplined freedom fighting movement, not political talks. And IPOB is devoted to the cause of liberating our people from subjugation and from modern day slavery and neocolonialism. And we will not allow ourselves to be distracted from this very objective. The world must hold to account the Nigerian government and the criminals it is covertly recruiting and positioning in the southeast to create an environment of violence and after causing the violence we use the zoo shameless and fantastically compromised and corrupt media to blame IPOB for the election violence that they themselves instigated and executed during campaigns and their shambolic elections. IPOB is not part of the zoo zoological republic sham election and will never be part of them. IPOB is solely focused on Biafra independence struggle, which Nigeria government and her allies are working very hard to try and derail with their daily propaganda and blackmail against Mazin Amdekano and IPOB members worldwide. They will always fail because the restoration of Biafra is as free, sovereign, and independent nation is divinely ordained, and it is, and its time is now. Our demands are simple. Number one, release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Namdechuku Kano, unconditionally. Number two, fix a referendum date for Biafrans to decide their fate, either for freedom in a sovereign Biafra nation or for permanent subjugation and oppression in the full and controlled Islamic Republic or Islamic Sultanate of Nigeria. As we have said in our previous press releases, Nigeria government and her compromised security agencies are responsible for most criminalities going on in Biafra land and some other parts of Nigeria. This very fact has been confirmed by the Nigerian army officers in their letter to the Buhari, the impostor in Asorok, while protesting poor welfare, low morale, corruption in the army as an institution and lack of adequate working tools to the effect that some of their men are involved in kidnapping and other sundry crimes for survival. What a shame. This is the smoking gun that has hitherto been missing. So, when they will recruit these criminals in uniform and their civilian partners, or JTFs, to cause violence in Biafra land during and after campaigns and selections, the international community should know who to hold responsible, and that will be the Nigerian government. The current political atmosphere in the Nigeria election campaign shows that the oppressed and disgruntled, disgruntled youths 
are on one side why the old who are comfortable with their oppressors are on the other side you don't need any prophet to tell you that this election or selection may end up like 2020 and SARS that brought the youth to the streets in protest in protest across Nigeria. Recollect that the NSARS mass protest led by the youth was infiltrated and hijacked by violent thugs on the payroll and at the behest of the Nigerian government and blamed on IPOB. Nigerian government is warming up to do same to do same again during this their selection process which they call election if nigeria if the nigeria government keep playing ostrich this time around what happened in nigeria in october 2020 might be a child's play to what will happen this time ipob is not interested and we never involve ourselves in any nigeria fraudulent pre-election or post-election issues our job is to open the eyes of the blind by the gospel of truth which our leader has delivered already Whoever that is sponsoring any group or gang tagging them, IPOB is on his or her own. For those who are heard or, or heard of hearing, IPOB is one invisible or invincible family under one central command and leadership of Mazin Namde Kuchukukano. This divine movement is being piloted by the only structure which Mazin Namde Kano put in place. And that structure is the Directorate of Thirds of the Indigenous People of Biafra DOS, which Mazitike Tike Dozium as the head of the DOS. Anyone who chooses to play foolish and act dumb is fully on his or her right to do so. But IPOB cannot answer for their foolishness. Neither shall IPOB be responsible for their stupidity. If in the future, IPOB leadership decides to make further statements on the upcoming Nigeria selection process called the election. We shall make such statements through our official channels, which are number one, announcement on our hallowed radio station, radio station, uh, Radio Biafra, or number two, press statement from IPOB publicity secretary. Any other information claiming to emanate from IPOB but not issued through the above two ch channels is not only deceitful but fraudulent and does not represent the position of the indigenous people of Biafra, led by Mazen Namdo Kuchukukano, signed by Comrade Emma Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for the Indigenous People of Biafra. Let me go straight to some news headlines, some headlines that made 